Alrighty guys, good evening. It is Tony Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Hill Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright. Brian, the purple and pink unicorn Brombeck. Yeah, you. <laughs> you little muffy. <mother. laughs> Alright. Me and Brian go way back, way back, back to 2014 actually. When he first sent me a RGH that was built by another person and um, it was screwed. And I fixed it. And you know what? It's still running today. <laughs> and then I built five more for him. <laughs> His whole family's got him. So anyway, uh, Brian uh, wanted a dual man. So I got him one. Okay? And what we got right here is we have a Jasper small block. All right? We went ahead and uh, we put a demon in it. And then we uh, put a cool runner, Rev C, with RGH 1.2 method. All right? Then... We went a little further, right? And what I did was, is I wanted to do something a little crazy and over the top. So, there we are. And what we did was, is we put Devil Girl on it, okay? And you got Badass Little Devil. Yes. She has nipples. She's horny. She's got nipples. Did I mention she has nipples? Yeah. Oh, those are nipple covers. But she still has nipples. Anyway, okay. So, there she is. Crotch. Um, anyway, there she is, okay? So, she's all done. And uh, what we did was we put red LEDs and white LEDs in it, along with a red ROL with a white center. Now, as you can see, there's a little blue light here, which is known as the demon, okay? Now, what this is, is we have two brains, one processor, all right? In, in plain and simple terms, it's two consoles in one. you got a retail, and then you got a hacked image, okay? So, to select the hacked image, it's in the hacked image right now. To select... Your regular standard NAND, just press the button right here, and there's your standard NAND. Press it again, there's your hacked NAND. You could also do it here. There's your standard, there's your hacked. And then you see this little port right here, Brian, okay? Well, that little port you could plug a USB stick in, and you can plug a USB cord into. Plug it into your computer. If you've got JR Programmer, you will see that uh, a demon reader comes up. And you could directly read and write the NAND right through it. You can also change the timing file, although I don't know why you would do that, but... Hey, if you feel froggy, leap, all right? But anyway, we did all that and got that all done. And I built the NAND from, well, I, I went ahead. I got, this, I got the CPU key and I got the DVD key from the original NAND. However, though, I did not touch the original NAND after it was done. and put it back right where it was. And I built my own, I, I went ahead and I built a hack NAND for it. Okay, I, I, I built the NAND from scratch. So in that way, then, it has a different KV, different serial number, different everything. So in case the KV ever comes off the hard drive for any reason at all, you don't have to worry about banning the retail because the hacked image is not what, not the NAND that the retail uses. Completely two different NANDs. So there you go. And all I did was patch the DVD key in so the DVD works on the hack side. All right. So anyway, we did all that and we got it all done. Now, we're going to boot it up right now. And as you can see, we went with white and red. Okay all over the place. Looks good. And we went white and red on the ROL. And now what's going to happen is you're going to boot up into FSD Dash. Alright. Then you're going to get a notification letting you know that it's online. And then you're going to get another notification from the Purge, which Stelio provided this console with lifetime Purge membership. Now, Brian already had beta on it. So, guess what? This one's got beta too. Alright. So, anyway, as you can see, there you are. You're all done, you're purged, there you go, beta, and you're good. All right, let's roll through this thing, shall we? All right, now, I got a 120 gig drive in this thing. The reason I got a 120 gig drive was just for show, because Brian makes his own hard drives, okay? And I'm quite sure that he has one for this thing. So we just stuck a little 120 in here just for the hell of it, all right? Now, okay, under emulators, yep, SNES 360. Okay, homebrew section, all right. We have Dashi Launch, Zell Launch, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Simple Name Flasher, FX Menu, and Back to Dash Launch. Then we have Xbox Live Arcade, where you have your arcade games, of course. And then, because this is a 120, alright, you know, you have a limited amount of games here. We have Advanced Warfare, Grand Theft Auto V, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, and then back to Advanced Warfare. Alright, now. To get to the original dashboard, Brian, you know my setup, so I don't have to tell you. But anyway, we go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash the A button, a button one more time. 
Hey, yes, hello again, Brian Unicorn Brombeck. You're on Alliance Live. You can only have 999 reserve days left. Got it? Good. Which means, pretty much, when I press the magic button, yes, you have a lifetime, okay? Your KB is on day zero. Yes, I even provided a KB for you. Wasn't that really nice of me? Yes, it was, Brian. Shake your head, yes. Okay? And anyway, fifth tab, ghost cheats and modern warfare three cheats. Get back to FSD Dash, just smash the A button, and Xbox Home. Now, <clears throat> okay, we're going back to FSD Dash now. All right, now, Brian, all right, because you're going to build your own hard drive, which I know you will, okay, you have the security sector for it, so, you know, you know you have to put that on the hard drive in order for a regular Xbox to see that, all right, so, anyway, this is just a hack drive. So, what I'm going to do here is just demonstrate the dual land, okay, what I'm going to do, because this is a small box, it doesn't have the avatar update on it. But I have the avatar update on this little USB stick right here. Okay? I'm going to shove that in there. Wait a minute. There we go. And now we're going to power it off. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to select the stock image. Okay? Now, you're not going to hear the fan speed up or anything because it's just a stock image. So, we're going to boot it. And as you can see, the fan is very low speed. There she goes. My boot time is just as fast as a regular retail, as you can tell. All right. Now what's going to happen is, is we're going to boot to the regular dashboard. And then just to show you what I'm talking about here with this crazy thing. All right. And as you can see, you're up, you're online. You know, I mean, you're on Xbox Live. Your regular HUD. Okay? Let's go over here. Settings. System. Okay. Let's see here. We're going to point this up there. System info. We'll go to system info right here. Okay? And. Alright. As you can see. That's the serial number to this console right here. Okay? 528-310-294-505. All right? Now, okay. And the reason why I'm doing that, I don't need you, I don't need people knowing what my IP address is, of course, because I don't need to get bombarded. All right? Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to shut this down. Okay? Now, what we'll do is we will pull out the USB stick. All right? Here we are. We will go ahead and we will select the hacked image. Okay, we will boot the console now. And as you can see, the fan speed totally different, everything totally different now. And it boots just as fast as a retail. I love that. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to boot up into FSD Dash again. And then I'm going to show you something once we boot up into it. Okay. Now, we're going to go to the original dashboard. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. Yep, we got it. Good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here. Gee, mine gets on live way faster than friggin' the original Xbox Live. What the hell's with that, Microsoft? <laughs> I'm running a hack little friggin' server here, and your friggin' crap is slow as crap. What the hell is wrong with you? You're so funny. You think people are a joke? All right. Okay, let's see here. We'll go to system, console settings, and then what we're going to do here, just I don't need to be giving out my IP. All right, let me see here now. Let me, let's see here now. Go to system info. Okay. Hit that. And as you can see, a completely different serial number. Completely different console. And if I took this KV off of here, you would still see a completely different console. Okay? Well, that's the benefits of a dual NAND. Alright? Two for the price of one. Alright, now, just so you don't see my IP, I'm back out of here. Okay, there we go. Alright, now. And as you can see, 
There's our guide. And we'll go back to FSD Dash. So Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. My little unicorn pony. Okay. <laughs> Flying Brian. Alright, man. I hope that you like it. Came out really nice. You know, I mean, and, uh, you know, it's not bad for, all, for, for on the fly. I started on it yesterday and finished it today. You know, in, in between everything else I've been doing. So, anyway, uh, there you go, bro. So, listen. Brian, my friend. Long time friend, actually. I'm glad I could build it for you, bro. We'll be shipping it off uh, tomorrow. Rain will have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Enjoy it. All right. And you all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later. I'm on to my next one. Take it easy.